Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy Eclipse, and we back. Um, I finally got to check out Mass Builder. I caved in. People from the DXM community have been playing it a lot, and I see it a lot on Twitter. Um, I, again, I for some reason to me it just looked like a game where you make pretty mechs, but I feel like there's a bit more to it. Um, I played it. I've been playing it a little bit. I actually started making some videos, some content for it, but I didn't like how they turned out. So. Um, now that I know a little bit more and kind of a little bit more what I'm doing, I think I can make some better videos and uh, kind of just do like a little brief summary. And I think I'm going to do, um, whether this does good or bad, I think I'm going to do some breakdown videos as I start to understand um, by section on the actual game itself. So um, just we'll go quick, be quick. Um, this game has been, I think it's been in, it's been on Steam as uh, early access for, I think, about two years now. Um, it's like $20, $25 to buy. Um, it's obviously incomplete. There's no multiplayer in it yet. Um, there is a campaign mission mode. I think there's in-game missions. Um, you pretty much, it's pretty much just an action-based uh, mech game, kind of a looter I don't want to say a looter shooter, but like a looter, that's a dungeon crawling type game. Um, you get jobs by killing enemies, um, bosses, and then you kind of craft gear. Um, there's a tons of armors and stuff you can collect. Um, there's a lot of customization in this game. And if you're really creative, you can do a lot just uh search up youtube this game you'll see a lot of gundam builds um you can pretty much make any kind of robot ever like from what i'm seeing uh you know i had to go like a, my custom i try to do the same colors as my original dxm arsenal um weapons 2 is another wholly customizable feature in this game that um that i just kind of uh, started understanding and yeah there's just tons of options you have like there's just so much you can do um i haven't really messed with this too much um hopefully i unlock more and i can show you guys again I'm a, i'll try to do like breakdown videos when i get maybe a majority of weapons maybe not all the weapons because i don't want it to take too long um there's fine tunings um armor development stuff i'm still trying to figure out the game kind of helps you walk through it um i'm someone who likes to just dive in and kind of figure out as i go here's a little tree system you can kind of i don't know if you're gonna unlock everything i kind of feel like you can but uh we'll see but yeah I, i'll definitely try to give a better breakdown as i unlock stuff but let's go ahead and show you guys the mission some of the gameplay uh, I have no clue what's going on with the story. I just know we're fighting monsters and we're protecting humanity. And there's a guy named Kunai. And his waifu girls. But I just skip all this. I don't care about story too much nowadays. I'm... Ooh, I'm going to actually put it on hard this time. Wish me luck. So far, the game has been pretty easy. Um, we'll see how this goes. And it looks like in-game gameplay also looks pretty crazy. Like, you get weapons that can do some crazy stuff. So, in this build, too, like, so I'm using, I think I'm using Knuckles. So, I kind of wanted to see, oh, I got, it looks like I only got one. That's why. Mission start. All right, we got knuckles, bro. It looks like I have to unlock dude, Willie. Boosting is lit. I think the movement in this game is pretty sick. Melee is not too shabby. It feels very hack slashy. I don't think it's a bad thing. Oh, what's that? I don't know what this is. This is lit. I just switched these. So you get like these funnels 
And they weren't shooting automatically, but now it looks like they, I have melee attacks for them. Oh, I got a little kick. All right, so. I forget to use the lock on button. Yeah, enemies all drop stuff, and then I, I guess you like get blueprints. And the more you pick them up, the more uh, you, you like unlock like kind of like DXM. Diffuse. But yeah, so it looks like you like uh, like stumble upon blueprints and you collect them in pieces, I guess. So once you get 100%, you can make new weapons and stuff. Um, and armors and all that stuff. How do I defuse that? L2, right? Guns don't seem too strong. Melee definitely seems stronger. But again, this is still um, pretty early game, I think. This is like the fourth mission. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Oh, So I really got a short time limit to do this. I think I'm about to change my controls. I might make it more like DXM controls. Uh, I'll say so far the missions seem kind of bland. Like they're kind of the same. I know this is still early access. I know that might change. Um, that's my first objective based thing though. Most of the time it just kill everything. Some new enemy types.
talk to me, dog. Bop, bop, bop. Yo, I can't wait to get like dual fist. Dual fist gotta be fire. Oh, I still got a funny. Oh, my lord. But yeah, once they add a. Uh, I'm interested to see how PvP is going to be because I definitely don't think it's going to be balanced. Um, it might be fun, for better or worse. Uh, it just might just be silly fun, I guess. Um, Co-op would definitely be fun. And it'll be interesting to see, every, to see everybody's different builds. I don't think one uh, um, mech will be the same, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that changes, you know, when people both of get involved, people start making metas and stuff, but I don't know, it seems like there's a lot you can do. Mission clear. You can only fly so high, but flying is fun. I can't wait till I get better boosts. But yeah, so this is the game so far. Combat's pretty fun, very heck of slashy. Um, I, hopefully these missions get better. It's still early access, so I don't expect too much. Um, there are some big bosses that are fun to fight. Not my first time doing hard. I got a lot more money for doing it on hard. Materials and stuff. Um, but yeah, I definitely think if you're a mech fan, check it out. I know that's a huge part of my audience, so I figured I'd show you guys this game. I thought I figured y'all would appreciate it. Oh, bop, 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 bop. All right, I just wanted to show you guys. I don't want to talk to anyone. Just how I unlock stuff. So we're going to tuning. Oh, so it looks like I finally have different engines and stuff. So your engines control everything, really. Magazine, how strong you hit, health, reload speed. I have gears now because I want speed, baby. Um, I'm not going to use this because it brings down my fuel burn rates. And I might use this. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So, yeah. Again, I'm still figuring stuff out. Um, I'm definitely trying to go speed. I might go combat frame. Ooh, fuel recharge is fast on this though. We're gonna go combat. I don't have any tech. All right, so I guess these are like the little those tuning. When I do development, I think I unlock those mods. Yeah, there's three different um development, I guess paths, and I guess these unlock those mods for it. Ooh. We just unlocked dual wielding. Ooh. So it looks like there's like elements for your weapons and stuff too. And I'm assuming. I'm assuming. There is a uh, um, I 
forgot what I was going to say. No, I didn't want to do that. That's Kunai, bro. I'm assuming what enemies have certain weaknesses and stuff. All right, so this is all your luck. Once you like get enough of the um, I guess parts, you can unlock different weapons. Oh, I'm broke now, so I can't show y'all how I'm locking it. But you see, like, this is a 100%. Now I can build it when I get the money. I'm broke, though. And I'm interested to see what these look like. I'm honestly not sure. Like, there's weights to them. But I'm honestly not sure what the difference is between, like, different blade types. You can kind of put anything on anything. So, again, I'm going to do a video explaining more of this. But it looks like you have a lot of creativity when it comes to your weapons. And uh, again, hopefully I get to show you guys. I will show you guys more. Um, I'm definitely interested in using these poles. And then, yeah, that's, that might be fire, bro. And I think there's a scythe weapon. This is the axe, but I think there's a scythe. But yeah, for sure. Um, hopefully, I'll be showing you guys more very soon. But yeah, that's it. Uh, again, this is just a little short, quick. Uh, I, I don't want to call it a review, but like a preview, I guess, of the game. So uh, yeah, hit your boy up. We'll be streaming Friday. And we stream every Monday. The Moon Drop Podcast at 10 Eastern. Um, but yeah, y'all be safe and I will be dropping more content very soon. Peace.